Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Forza Horizon 4 on the Flat Out Media channel and today we are in summer and we're here in the Lamborghini Gallardo LP something 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 uh, Performante Spider uh, which is a very pretty car included in the car pass and we're actually down here at the summer barn find site yes summer barn find site that's what it is so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna course search for a barn so guys let me just go ahead and I'm just gonna park up on this corner and we're gonna jump into drone mode and let's go ahead and let's find us a barn Aha! Here's the barn. Let's go ahead and let's boop it. Boop. And uh, yeah guys, as you could see, I was out here searching for so long that it actually turned to night. You know what, I'm gonna go this way. Through this farmer's crop field. Sorry, sorry. You know, don't mind me, just off-roading through a forest in a Lamborghini. Well, let's go ahead and let's check out what's in this barn. Found it! Nice! Let me put on a dry shirt and I'll be there. Wait, it can't be! That's a PLP 50 I've wanted one of these ever since... Ever since I was small enough to fit in one of these! Come on, help me lift it. Pure P50. Cool. I'll wheel it down to the garage and call you soon. There we go. So guys, what I think we're gonna do here. Explore rank seven. And we just ranked up to rank 39. Which means we got another wheel spin. there sure and well I'll just drive right up here to this street race with you guys no point in me cutting or anything seeing that it's literally right here Put the inside of an i8 Ashbrook Apex this should be a fun race so let's go ahead and let's set it up All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are, and away we go. Drift Viper beside us. There was a Bentley back there. We're overtaking a Hellcat Charger. No, Challenger. Yes, that's a Challenger. There's an HSV Malu up ahead as we tap with a Ferrari FF, I think that was. As we're right now tailing a Camaro. And for some strange reason, drift cars are actually surprisingly quick going around corners normally. Not exactly sure why, I say as I dive down the inside of both of them into that corner. There are two of them. There was a 240 and then there was the Viper. Next we're chasing down this Malu drift car. which we are going to get down the inside of. Get past, and now there's just the Forza Edition Reventin that we have to get past. But we still have another 50% of the race left to do it, so I'm not particularly rushed. We're going to go ahead up the outside of him as he tried to turn into us there. They seem to be quite attached to the racing line on this game. They really do. Oh well. We're now up and over these corners. 
Ooh, got a little bit, a little bit loose. Yeah, honestly, I don't mind this car at all. It's quite a neat little car. Well, not little, but... I can't complain for it being free, really. Really can't complain. So Horizon Festival is right up in there. But we aren't going in there. Ooh, we're just running it very wide on that corner. Allowing the Reventin to catch back up to us a bit, but I don't think he's going to be close enough to do anything. And he's not, unless he has an incredible amount of speed. Up and over this hill we go, there's an AI car, and across the line. In a first place. There we go. Yep. Reventin, Malu, Dodge Viper, FF, Camaro. Yep. Alrighty, cool. Two Lambos and a drift car. Pretty decent. 16,000 credits there, gets us up to 3.4 million. Influence rewards wise, 5,000 influence. Gets us up to street scene around 7. And we unlock the head to head quick chat phrase. Not phase, phrase. Into the next round of street team. Seriously, all these racers are terrified of what you're going to do next. Yada 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 yada. And we are currently where are we? We're here. So I think I think I think I think there's no real events nearby. So I think. This Ambleside Rush Cross Country Series of Race. We're going to head over there. Turn around when it is safe and to do so. I will see you guys over there in a couple of seconds. Alright guys, here we are. We are now approaching the event. And here we are. So let's go ahead and let's set it up. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so here we are lining up on the line in our Colorado ZR2. This is my weapon of choice for today's race. Hopefully, like, it was either between this or the F-150, and I'm like, you know what? I'm a Ford guy, but I kind of like the looks of this truck. So, I just had to take this truck. Generally, I'm not a fan of trucks in general, but... The way that this truck looks is just stunning. It plows through the wall, we're just gonna kind of follow its way through. We're just gonna kind of follow the Hummer through. There we go. We're already like 50% through the race. Sheep are running away. We are gaining quite a lot on the top three. Oh! That raptor there was really kind of all over the place. Now it's our turn to plow through this stuff at the front of the pack. In hindsight, I probably should have just sat behind everybody else for a little bit longer. Trying to reduce the amount of damage that's done to my vehicle here. Oh, big jump. Alright, not as big as I thought it was going to be. That's good. I was expecting for it to just like drop off massively there. But nope, thank goodness. Apparently we're going through this pool of water here, up and over the other side. 
We almost went water to water there. And we are now up through here and across the line. There we go. First place. Ahead of a Defender and a Wrangler, and then there's the Raptor, H1, Bronco. Da 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 da. All the way down. There we go. That's what the standing, well, the podium looked like. Another 13,000 credits. And what, like 4,000 influence? Nice. There we go. So guys, now we're gonna go ahead in here and do our two wheel spins for this episode. Got the Firebird Trans Am. Sure, I'll take that. I will most definitely take that. And then come on, another car or some red running shorts. Not that I'll use those, but you know what? Sure, whatever floats your boat. Now let's go ahead over and let's head to the festival site. I don't know if we have any barn finds ready to be picked up. I don't think we do, to be honest, but it's worth a check. Yeah, no, we have no barn finds ready to be picked up. All of them are still being worked on, the GT40, the Elise, and the P50. And then we only have one more car to find after that, and our barn find collection will be complete. But, uh, yeah guys, that's gonna have to be it for this one. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment if you like. I will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.